Hello guys, myself R R Kavinesh and I am the fourth semester MBBS student at AIMS New Delhi. So all the uh, like, congratulations first of all like you have got into got through the NEET and now in the like any colleges. So uh, I have to just tell like you have crossed the first phase of your life. You have entered the MBBS. Like many people now think that you have become doctor. but the things are not the same actually if you come into mbbs there are a lot of things much higher a lot of things to do than your need time so i would tell on a brief basis so what you have to do once you enter the aims first phase is done done is done don't think about that like i have qualified i am big guy oh, it's this done now what you have to do is like get into the pace of the mbbs and then master it if you master mbbs you have mastered almost of your life like 70% i would tell you. Okay first year there are three subjects mainly like anatomy physiology biochemistry if you ask me like all like most dry subject is anatomy and biochemistry is physiology is at least like interesting you could imagine something but like biochemistry is such full of chemicals anatomy is like so dry like you have to learn everything and everything like so many names uh, first of all you cannot learn 100 percentage your aim should be like just learn 50 70 percentage that's more more than enough okay so When I entered AIMS, like I felt I don't know what to do. Like I was like, now I have an MBBS college, so what should I do? I was completely blank. Like, and we were like COVID batch, so we got into very late, and they directly started with the classes. Uh, so first day, like it was our physiology class. I went into the class, and they took two lectures. If I in my need time, I read that topic. I might be reading for one week, two week. They taught in one hour. That you will also face. Everyone faced in my college, and everyone would face. So what you have to do, like just leave it, like just listen to it, come back, try to read through it. Physiology, I am telling, like try to read Guyton. Guyton is good book to understand, but it's big. You have to like initial days, you might feel like I have to read this much. It's like twenty, thirty pages. How can I spend this much time? After the time, you will get the thing. What I have to do, just the thing that's important, that's needed for exam, and that might be needed in other future subjects. So initially, just listen to the class. Be regular to the class at least. Seventy-five percent of attendance is compulsory in most colleges. You could do proxies that do happens in colleges, but I would advise like try to maintain like eighty percent of attendance. Like not need to go to all colleges, uh, all classes, but you could maintain some. You know, now you might not know which is important. So initially, try to maintain all classes, but after that you could bunk some classes which are not important at all. Now you go to the classes, learn about what, what's happening, what they are trying to tell. They might be going in a different pace. They might be telling blah 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 blah. Starting from first ending, like there would be hundred slides. They would be going in just fast way. You might be knowing like what the lecture was on, right? So you might have got off that fifty slides, three four slides in your mind. And then using that slide as that three four slides in your mind as a basis, try to read through the guide and then you might get. A pace in physiology. I am telling right. It, it's sure. I am guaranteeing you. If you read Guyton, Guyton is written in a so good way that they have kept in their mind that undergraduates come from 12th standard and they cannot understand that fast. So they have written in such a way that you could understand it easily. That made it. That made the book big. Read like a story book if you are reader. Try to read through the chapters. Try to read the important parts. There would be some highlighted area. Read that part. So this would make you like get into the basic concepts of physiology. And once you are into that pace, like reading, or you are reading like 50, 40 percentage of what they are teaching, then just increase it. Then you would like start enjoying it. Physiology is almost you could enjoy because all once you realize that there is something going in your body and you could understand it, it's enjoyable. It's so good. Then comes to physiology practicals. Actually, it's a bit dry. Like you have to do so much experiments. It depends on college to college. Some colleges have. few practicals which you have to perform during your exam don't miss that at least then it would become big difficulty in the exam like you don't know what to do in that exam so like go to the classes see what's happening like what's happening what they are telling like just try to do it in the exam just learn how to do that's more than enough like you don't need to learn that much theory in it theory is so easy you could do i i guess it's easy for everyone physiology practicals coming to biochemistry biochemistry is so dry like you will not get interest throughout the biochemistry it's like bits and scan so much information so much chemicals they are cycling around we don't know anything so what i would suggest is like you have to learn any way to pass exams right once the class is done 
come home there are different topics you have to treat from different books but a complete book i saw is that and a book for undergraduates written by karthik and pratasami it's a very good book if you read that alone you could easily get distinction in biochemistry and for metabolism my suggestion would be is to go to harper read the harper just go through the cycle you will not understand anything just learn go through the cycle just remember like what all chemicals are going on fine that we can try to write that on paper without seeing it you might get at least like 20 30 percentage of that that's fine then again go into it then again write it like, because uh, like college life is not just studies you have to also enjoy also so don't waste your time always studying so you should be effective so you might be like studying for half an hour stretch then going out with your friends and enjoying it so what my plan is like after class if you're reading for half an hour that just take the page of that cycle just see that oh this is happening you might have got the broad image of that chapter that might like if you study the theory for three hours you would have got that knowledge in half an hour by seeing that image so i'm telling you like you have saved two and a half hours don't write it on a paper after writing on a paper you might not get you might get just 30 percent 40 percentage of the thing then at that time just go and learn the theory oh it was due to this that this chemical came here then you would add that to the your list so like do this not do it together if you do it two and a half hours in a together i'll sit and completely learn this it will not happen at all you have to go in a step by step first put a layer over that put a layer over that put a layer so if you assemble it everything you will get the complete complete knowledge so that's what how i used to read in biochemistry and like in my first professional exam i got an award in like biochemistry or object tata award it's a prestigious award in aims so i felt like this is a very good way to learn uh, harper and this book the by karthik mathesam is very good book you have to learn it's good to read and harper for metabolism my suggestion then biochemistry practical very dry very dry absolutely dry you have got nothing to do like you might be shown PCR, how is it done, the electrophoresis, how is it done, just to see it, you are not going to use it in MBBS throughout your life, in MBBS, in PG you might use it for your research, but in MBBS it's of no use to you, but just they will show you how is it done, it might evoke interest for some who are in, like interested in this, but for me it was not at all, uh, but it's good, like it's something new, you could see something, the reactions, it is easy, it's easy just go i think most colleges would have a manual for our like aims have a manual for bio practicals so you could study that study the reactions what are the reactions that's going on what are the tests for whether the glucose is present protein is present what's the test what's the basis of the test principle of the test how you note the result what's the how like measuring the result what's the principle of that device which is used to measure the result just know this basic things if you study it initially then it would be throughout like biochemistry is just calorimetry repeating throughout that in aims at least so that would be fine for biochemistry anatomy might be difficult for many people because it has so much to learn literally the biggest of the other two biggest of the three because you have to learn everything the nerves which supply the muscles for nerves which supply the muscles my suggestion would be like study the course of the nerve and the muscles on the way and then you will get like which muscle is supplied by which nerve i think that's the easiest way for me like but least number of people use that they just write it mug up everything that doesn't work actually if you're each day my you might have dh and lecture after lecture you just my first suggestion is like if you they are teaching something during teaching time you read grace and before exam read bdc or vishram singh okay so while they are teaching during exam read grace grace has very good illustration even if you didn't attend dh but you could do that but my is like if you have dh if there are cadavers they are allowing you to dissect that's the best experience ever in your life. It might be smelling like anything, the formula smell, irritation, everything. But once you cut and if you see that nurse, how is it going, you will never forget it. It's easy. After that, if you come the same day and see the grace and have picture, it's exactly the same. And if you learn the theory, it becomes so easy. It's easy. Just remember that mind, the photo, the photographic image, it would be in your mind and you would like, Okay, hand, which this muscle is supplied by this nerve. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it. So they will be asking, you should question in anatomy they will ask four or five muscles what's the nerve supply what are the proprioceptive nerves so you should if you remember it it would be fine uh, there is uh, other parts like embryology neuroanatomy like that 
neuro anatomy which i'm saying for exam most colleges do not stress but aims do give stress to that so we have to we were forced to read there is something called bars neuro anatomy and snell's neuro anatomy while teaching i would say to read theory for bars and the clinical aspects from the snell's but exam point of view you cannot read both of these books these books are so vast and so big so i would ask you to go to vishram singh it's a so crisp book and it has all the knowledge for your exam so vishram singh is like god level book for neuro anatomy and for gross vishram singh and bdc are equally good vishram singh has very good pictures if your college is expecting you to draw a lot of pictures in your answers better get take vishram singh embryology it's langman throughout everywhere people follow langman langman is a very good book better is that whenever they teach it read through it because at least at the last of the exam there is lot of disorders you will not even think of it whenever they teach at least try to learn 60 70 percentage of that no don't become more confident like that's the problem of many people who come to medical colleges they have clear mbbs they are now on the top of the world but nothing if you cannot climb the step i am telling right first mid sem or first exam you are going to face then you are going to go down it's for sure because this is very crucial you have to like acclimatize to the mbbs it's so hectic much much hectier than you think but that doesn't mean that you have to lose your life and study throughout you should enjoy equally so it's your capability i'm telling right so biochemistry and roll if they have taught so many things and you have to learn everything you don't sit and learn everything you cannot write and learn everything 100% by reading the throughout the book you have to be smart enough read what is needed and read what is needed for your clinical aspect don't read everything and waste your time you have to enjoy your life equally i have seen many people who just study and don't enjoy the life who just enjoy the life and don't study there should be balance in your life otherwise you would feel like my life is so going so dry i'm just learning or i'm just just enjoying i can't study you should do it equally and do it in the smart way every day try learning 2 3 hours even though the topic is vast you should be learning smart way you don't need to le- learn 100 percent as that of 12th where you have to learn everything and anything but here you have to just learn what is needed and one more advice is like there would be so many quizzes happening in first year like many colleges fest would be happening attempt that quizzes they are very good so they would help you to understand the concept this question this disorder what is like if you do one question one disorder one clinical aspect question you are learning like what you learn in 2 3 hours so it's very good so that's it don't be over confident chill enjoy the life MBBS life should be enjoyed but at the time should also be studied if you didn't study and if you didn't fail to like go into the pace of the MBBS it's going to be difficult so learn enjoy the MBBS you have to become a doctor once or other time and enjoy it all the best